I flew to South Korea with Go Army to experience what daily life is like for soldiers stationed overseas. In my last video, I spent time at the different bases in Daegu, where I went through training, took the official ACFT, and learned so much about what the US Army has to offer. Another important aspect of a soldier's life is, of course, their time off. The Army recognizes the importance of rest and recuperation, so soldiers receive a certain number of days of leave per year and have the freedom to explore on their weekends. One of the great things about being stationed in South Korea is the close proximity to popular destinations like Seoul, Busan, and Jeju. My adventure with Go Army continued as we took a 45-minute flight from Daegu to this little slice of paradise here in Jeju. We had so many fun activities planned and were joined by a few US soldiers as well. Discover how you can be all you can be and learn more about Go Army opportunities through the link in my description. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video, another vlog, another Korea vlog. We are actually spending the next few days in Jeju Island. This is part two of my little Korea travel vlog series. If you haven't seen part one, you gotta check it out. It was a really awesome and inspiring experience. I would highly suggest that you guys go watch that vlog, but we are actually continuing our adventure through the weekend. Again, thanks to Go Army, we're here on Jeju Island. We flew in late last night, so we couldn't really see much as we were flying in, but waking up this morning, the views, the views were gorgeous. It was cloudy first thing in the morning, but now the sun is starting to rise. I actually went out for a little run, a short, just a short run. Just to enjoy the scenery, take it all in. But yes, we're spending the weekend here in Jeju Island. We've got so many fun activities planned and we're starting our day off with go-kart racing, which we actually have to leave the hotel soon. Yeah, it's 8.30, we have to be there by nine. So I'm just gonna gather my things. I also picked up a quick brekkie from the hotel lobby. It's croissant with strawberries and cream on top. Oh, and then, an Americano. I feel like I've had so many coffees this trip. It's just because there's literally coffee shops everywhere. Only thing though, is that a lot of the coffee shops open late. Some not till 8 a.m., some not till 10 a.m. And so it was actually really hard to find coffee this morning. So we waited till eight to get this guy. But yeah, because Jeju Island is just about a 45 minute flight from Daegu, this is a location that soldiers can actually travel to on their free time to just enjoy leisure activities, have a little vacation. It honestly feels like a uh, Hawaii. I guess this is the Hawaii of Korea. <laughs> but yeah, super exciting, fun couple of days ahead of us. Really excited to take you guys along. Mama, she's ready to go. She's ready before I am. And this is actually her first time in Jeju Island or on Jeju Island. All her years has never been. So this is exciting for both of us. Oh my goodness gracious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The strawberries are very fresh. <laughs> A crowd for Major Storms versus Alex Ojeda on the 360 swing. Oh, who's gonna go first? <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> laser tag. So much friendly and good-hearted competition today. From going soldiers versus creators in laser tag to the 360 swing to go-kart racing. I loved how everyone was cheering each other on and this sort of encouragement reminded me of the support I experienced during the ACFT. Find your happy place. Find your happy place. All right, you give me 10 more seconds. Give me 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Go Chris, go, go, go! 
Yeah. Keep fighting, keep, keep fighting. Keep going, do the four minutes. Come on, I'm right here hey. with you. This was such a fun handful of activities to do alongside the soldiers. Uh-oh, already. things about driving Korea is having to back up into spaces. Oh wait, actually? Oh, that was actually perfect. Ooh. Okay, okay. I, think I, I have been struggling to back up into spaces just because I don't really ever do it when I'm in the US. And also the spots here are so much tighter, so tight to the point that a lot of cars here actually have like a, a little square on their door, a little cushion thing to protect the car and also the other car if they were to like open the door. and. I'll show you guys, or I'll insert a clip of, oh, I actually see a car that just pulled up with one. But yeah, let's eat. Lunch was amazing. The black pork, the special pork that they have in Jeju Island, delicious. I'm glad that I got to try that. Right now, we just pulled up to Hala Arbortum and it's basically like a botanical garden. It's giving Namjoon. I'm gonna be Namjooning for the next hour or so. We're gonna walk around tons of trees, plants. I need to walk off this food. And then we have a special performing arts show later, which will be fun. I'm just gonna take a nice little walk outside. Literally always cute cafes everywhere you go. Floor to ceiling, glass windows, the cutest little seating area. For those who want to go for a quiet, in a calm environment, the Hala Arbortum is the place to go. This tranquil forest trail is good for everyone, with or without company. And here in Jeju, we have a wild YouTuber. <laughs> it's so funny. Just I know. I feel so awkward. Everybody looks at me with the with the phone because I don't use a. As soon as someone makes camera. eye contact with me, I'm like. I forget how to speak, and then I just go silent. Ah, uh, this is nice. Walk off all that food. My thighs just burn. <laughs> Did y'all see him on the 360 swing? <laughs> I failed miserably at that. I'm but so sad still. She was close. She didn't fail miserably. Right there. We I was so close. There's just a time limit, so if we had more time, because I think it's like 90 seconds or something that you get to do it, and then I think you started learning how to do it like towards by the, the end. <laughs> by the last 15 seconds. Oh. <laughs> Act of living as Kim Namjoon. This includes taking walks through parks, admiring nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On my table. Yeah, that goes. Okay, my mom's calling. <laughs> Hello? We are now entering a bamboo forest. Now the show that we ended up going to, it's called Nanta and it is one of a kind. It was a comedy, a musical, a cooking show, a non-verbal performance. It does draw inspiration from traditional Korean percussion music. We were only allowed to film certain parts of the show, but you guys will see because <clears throat> someone got pulled up on stage. <laughs>
for the win. Okay, I've had my fresh air. The coffee is very, very good. Coffee time. Today we have the Maxim coffee, which we purchased downstairs at the little grocery e-mart place. And it was only like a dollar something. That's pretty dang good. And it tastes not bad for being instant coffee. My current setup. <laughs> Tell me you're a YouTuber without selling me. Yeah, we're YouTuber. Quick brekkie with our coffee. see some waterfalls. There were actually three on the same little trail, so that was nice. And we had basically the whole group there, so we just got to talk, walk. We just got done with lunch. We had Korean barbecue, lots of kalbi. Yesterday was grilled pork, today was grilled beef. Both great meals. The next thing on our itinerary is to go to the chocolate museum, which I'm excited about or like interested. We're currently on the southern part of the island. Basically, we had to drive about 40 to an hour to get down here and we've been just staying in this general area. I think the rest of the group is running a little bit behind, so my mom and I, we came into this really cute coffee shop. I'm pretty sure we're like five minutes from the beach. It's so cute and quaint. pit stop to the chocolate museum which was interesting <laughs> what the heck? i was expecting a chocolate factory like charlie in the chocolate factory but yeah, we got to remember uh, how we get back here okay <laughs> so we just drove our way back to the other side of the island and we're closer to our hotel now we are not jeju dongmun public market which is like a big Outdoor, outdoor-ish. There's all these little storefronts and then a lot of good food options, which I'm excited about. Beef turkey with the black, black pork. Mmm. Lots of oranges here. Wow, those mangoes look good. to almost seven wow we just got back from the outdoor market that you guys saw holy there was just so many things to choose from i honestly didn't know what i wanted to eat so we did bring home a little assortment it's not really the place where you uh sit down and eat so we did just decide to bring it back to our hotel room we have this like oh i actually don't know what that is it looks like a squid what it's is that mozzarella cheese oh it's a cheese it's like ball. a jeju black pork meatball pot stickers and the squid the flaming squid then we have 
Uh, <laughs> nice. This is to go box. <laughs> and we also got a bottle of wine. Bottle of red wine. Still bright out. The sun is not quite here. Still got some daylight left. Up early, I just finished packing up my bag because this is our last morning in Jeju. I'm just taking a little lap around the hotel with my coffee because I didn't get to see much of this place. When I'm choosing hotels to book, I'm obviously looking at the rooms and the location, but also the amenities because usually I like to use them. But it's been a super jam-packed couple of days here that I didn't get a chance to. So I'm just gonna quickly scope it out. Apparently there's a gym. Gym pool sauna is this way. There's also a restaurant down there. I'm pretty sure it's a buffet. There's even a casino, which I thought would have been fun if my mom had some downtime. Maybe she could have scoped it out, but we were very limited on time here. I know for a fact that the pool is really freaking nice here. Just based on the pictures that I saw online. I'm not sure about the gym though. A literal lap pool. There's actually a lot of people using it too. You're joking. Wow. Yoga room too? Wow, 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 wow. Goodbye, ocean view. Totally forgot that I got this juice at the market yesterday, but it's tangerine juice. Get your signature fruit. You heard it here first. It looks so refreshing. So I'm gonna do a proper taste test before we head out. Cheers. Mmm. Ooh. Mm hmm Actually, I feel like we can finish it before the airport. Just drink it in the car and stuff. Delish. Mm. Yeah, at the market, they had these. A bunch of stands that sold juice. So many tangerine stands with different variations of tangerines. I didn't even know that there were that many different types. My overall experience with Go Army taught me about the unique lifestyle of a soldier, which combines work, training, and recreational activities. From training, readiness, and taking on their specialized roles during their work week, to relaxing and recharging in their downtime, the Army strives to provide a balance between work and play to ensure a soldier's physical, mental, and emotional well-being are taken care of. Go Army provides opportunities opportunities for personal growth, professional development, and the chance to make a meaningful impact as a part of a dedicated team. More info in the link in my description of how you can be all you can be. 